What's up guys, Graham here. Uh, I took a week off from making videos. As you guys have probably noticed, there hasn't been a video in almost an entire week, I believe. Yeah, it was Saturday whenever I uploaded the last video and that was uh, my try-on video, of course. I uploaded it on my channel and you guys got to see that. Uh, I'll, I'll eventually put up all the try-on videos that I end up doing up on my channel so you guys will be able to see that and that'll be some of the guides that if you're not subscribed to the the Rift official YouTube channel you'll get to see uh, the videos on my channel as well so that should be uh, really nice for those of you that are wanting to learn things such as um, you know how to create your perfect character or all that stuff you know and I gave the big intro to the Primalist um, which, funny enough, the Primalist video, if you load up your glyph, you look on the right side and all of a sudden you see Grim there. Yes, they put me on the glyph launcher. How cool is that, man? Gosh, trying is so awesome. You guys rock. You know, right there. But, um... Yeah, really good publicity for me. Uh, you know, promoting me. They, uh... You know, they haven't really spammed me too much on uh, their uh, Twitter and YouTube or anything like that, other than the official video that I do for them. Uh, I'm going to have to talk them into it. Hopefully I can, but I don't know. I, I might be asking too much. They're already promoting me enough. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're awesome, man. I, I, I can't say enough good things about this company. Uh, they're they're uh, of course showing me and Seton some love. Uh, as you can see on the official Rift channel, you have uh, some videos by Seton as well. Um, me and him had a recent talk, and uh, yeah, kind of mended fences. You know, he, uh, we had kind of a rough relationship early on, as in. Uh, I was just an up-and-comer youtuber and he was like the top of the rift youtubers and then uh, and then uh, Tron was Pretty much showing him a lot of attention I guess because he was asking for it as in you know messaged them and saying hey Let me do a video on this. Let me do that. You know, and they were like, okay well if you're gonna ask for it, we'll give it to you and just like they're pretty big on uh, if you ask them for, if you're trying to promote something like you're doing a PvP tournament or uh, you got a YouTube channel that you're really working on or a Twitter, uh, not Twitter, but uh, a live stream or something like that that you're really trying to build up, you know, you can go ahead and message Ocho and a lot of times he'll promote you if he sees that you're trying to make an effort and really trying to build up something. And they're all about you guys succeeding, just like they've, uh, you know, promoted me now. You know, that, that's really cool and had me do videos for them as well. So, yeah, if you're ever thinking about doing uh, Rift YouTube or uh, anything like that, message Ocho. You know, the guy is awesome. Uh, and, you know, all the development team is pretty awesome as well. They're very busy, but Ocho is the guy that you can usually reach and uh, have a good relationship with, so to say. Um... So yeah, if you're doing a live stream or anything like that, then uh, yeah, make sure that you message Jojo so that he can help promote you as well and put you on their Twitter or else uh, on their Facebook or something like that. And uh, he's done that for a few people. He's done it with Worrisome Fool uh, just recently. Uh, if you don't know, Worrisome Fool is a, uh, a live streamer and one of the most active ones and pretty fun live stream he's the guy that also made the big leveling guide on youtube that uh got a lot of hits man uh it's basically one of those uh uh like that chasm that everybody or chasm however you say it i, I don't know how to say it so don't rip me apart whenever i say it wrong but um uh, that place that all the primalists have recently been leveling. It's basically like uh, level 50 or 60 mobs and you run through and just AOE them all down and you just basically nuke down the whole place and then you leave and then you come right back in and do it all over again and you get a lot of experience from killing so many monsters. And uh, Worrisome Fool made a guide on doing something like that as well. So, yeah, it's, it's really cool. And uh, I've been talking with them recently, and we're going to do a live stream together. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, really soon, I'm supposed to message him and let him know whenever it's convenient. 
But um, yeah, me and Worrisome Fool, we're probably going to do a live stream where you guys are going to see us uh, PvP together or else just do general gameplay or something like that. Uh, it might be me leveling an EU character or uh, might even be uh, him being on the US servers and PvPing with me. I know he's got to work up a level 65, but he's doing it. Uh, let's move around so we don't log out. But um also, uh, I've got an EU character that I need to work up as well. I just got to get a level 60 potion, which I got to level up my primal list too. So I got a lot of leveling to do. But um, yeah, uh, we're going to do the live stream together and hopefully you guys will get to watch and watch me PvP live instead of, you know, on YouTube and all that. Because I, I, I kind of did away with the whole live streaming stuff in the past because... It, it never was uh, much of a, uh, a reward, so to say, uh, because Rift isn't real big on the live streaming side. So it got to where uh, I would do like a long live stream and follow the schedule and all this stuff and uh, made it to where people could expect to see me at a certain time every day, all that. And then, boom, it, it was like, you know, you get 30 people watching you or something like that on the, on the on the steady as in uh if you do something like promotional like if i would have did a live stream of the primal as soon as it came out uh yeah i would have had hundreds of people probably watching and also for like the godlike arena tournament we uh, you know whenever we do that we get hundreds of viewers as well but you know whenever you're just live streaming regular gameplay it's yeah it's going to be the biggest live stream on rift is going to probably peak out at about 30 people uh usually it's a lot less than that you go to the rift live streams and it's usually like 8 to 15 people watching the top guy at the time so for somebody like worrisome fool to do a lot of live streaming and all that and just you know be pounding away at it even though there isn't a lot of people watching and uh, there's not really much for donations or anything like that. Whereas if you live stream some other game, some big game that, other than Rift, a lot of times they got a pretty big uh, live stream uh, viewer base. And people will be making donations. A lot of people are watching, you know, all that good stuff. You know, if you do a good job, that is. Uh, there's plenty of bad live streams that don't get any viewers at all. So, yeah, uh, we're going to do the live stream with Worrisome Fool soon. Uh, so look forward to that. Also, uh, what else do we got going on? Uh, we got another try on video coming out soon. Um, what else? Um, well, uh, I'll just talk about what I've been doing all this week because all this week I have pretty much not been playing any rift because I took a entire week off of, uh, playing anything consistent. Uh, other than just what I felt like playing right at the minute. And I made sure not to play Rift all this week because I'm going to be grinding some Rift. I'm going to get on here and smash through the new content. I'm going to uh, really do a lot of stuff. And the, the drag video is coming soon, guys. The ones that made donations in order for me to go all dressed up and like a woman basically with makeup and all that craziness. It's coming soon. For those of you that have donated or else been waiting on that, I'm about to make a fool of myself and do that. So uh, it's coming up shortly. Um, but And it's been long enough. Oh my gosh. Uh, man, whenever I was first saying that I would do it if we had so many donations, and you guys hit the donation limit like that. I mean, it, it, I didn't expect it to be hit for a long time. And then all of a sudden it was like, boom, one week donation goal accomplished and uh and i know i know uh uh the people that donated they they were probably looking forward to me uh doing the the drag video and making a fool of myself since i promised to do it and then i didn't do it all this time which probably why donations fell off you know i haven't had donation in a long time other than uh the last time i mentioned it i think uh there was a couple of donations after that um, but yeah, and then we did a big, uh, giveaway right, right afterwards. Yeah. I think we gave away two 30 day patron passes and then two wrecks. So yeah. And then we're also going to be working with, uh, uh, 
uh, what is it, Discordia on the uh, wardrobe stuff. I'm going to be getting a hold of you, Discordia, soon. So uh, we're going to get that done. Uh, we're going to be hitting up somebody for uh, Dimensions uh, contest, so you guys will be able to see that. Um, I know Seton has offered to uh, help me out with some uh, build videos for PvE. So uh, he's basically like, you know, if you want to know how to play any of these specs, just let me know and you can make a guide on it. So hopefully I'll be making some PvE builds for you guys real soon. Uh, the PvP builds, uh, they're changing around some. You got Tempest getting more powerful. You got Riftblade getting more powerful. You got uh, Reaver getting a little bit weaker. Um, and there, there's a lot of tweaking going on, so the videos are going to be changing around, which I'm also wanting to redo the Pyromancer video because I've went with the more traditional um, uh, traditional Stormcaller as a secondary soul rather than uh, the Dominator and all that that I had mixed up before. Um, the reason why I went with that is because of Living Storm. Uh, Living Storm is a very cool uh, AOE ability basically you throw it down on the ground it's it's like uh, what was it the rogues necrotic core I think it was that people would throw down at a flag and then they could run off a long way and that necrotic core would sit there and hit everybody and you couldn't cap the flag because it interrupt you it chain interrupt you so that that ticked people off so bad they were making posts about it and everything like that and you had try and go okay we're nerfing it you know it'll hit you once uh as far as an interrupt goes but i, I guess i i think it it works where it still hits people but it doesn't interrupt them past the first hit or something like that i, I forgot the change that they made to it i think it's like that but um, Living Storm is much the same way. You throw it right into the middle of a bunch of people. It hits them all. And then uh, also uh, Stormcaller, of course, has the instant cast ability, which was exactly what I wanted from Dominator in the previous build. So, yeah, we're going to be updating that Pyromancer video. Uh, we're probably going to hit up some more Pyromancers and try to get their input on macros and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, I like to, uh, like I always say, I like to keep it pretty simple for the builds and stuff. Uh, we're not going to have a, you know, 20, 30 button uh, action bars. It's going to be pretty simple and we're going to make it to where you guys can play Pyromancer in an easy fashion. Uh, not like a one button spamming, but you know, something that will be easy to catch on to in PvP with. That way you can focus on your movements and you don't have to focus on, okay, you know, hit number eight, hit F12, hit, you know, whatever. You know, it's it's not going to be crazy with a, a ton of buttons. And I always get criticized because I make the builds pretty uh, simple for you guys, but I don't do it in a way that's going to completely cripple you. As in, I don't put break freeze into macros, uh, you know, and stuff like that. So, uh, people that put break freeze into their macros, it cripples your gameplay. Uh, whereas, a lot of the builds that I do, I'll do macros, it will cut down on your DPS a little bit, but make it so much more simple for you. To where you can focus on you know the people running around you and your movement and circle strafing people and all this stuff and you don't have to worry about you know hitting one ability after the other after the other you know in a long line of buttons so yeah i always get criticized for that but there's very good reasoning for me keeping it as simple as possible on that front um but oh yeah i get sidetracked but what i what i've been doing uh this past week is funny enough i've been playing some other games um not right not like world of warcraft type of games or anything like that but um i've been playing a mobile game which i've been hooked on game of war oh my gosh now this is like a huge game that's like right under clash of clans i guess uh, i play clash of clans as well but um Game of War is like uh, almost kind of like a Sims build your city kind of thing and then you go to war with all these people and it, it's, a, it's a pay to win game it, so don't even get started if you don't plan on putting down five dollars once in a while 
but a lot of people are willing to do that for a game anyway because you know a lot of them have subscriptions on rift and all other games you know you get a lot of benefits if you put some money into it uh such as experience potions and all that in rift uh that help you out a lot so uh in game of war it's pretty much you know you can build up with no money put into it but the moment that you put some money into it you see yourself go from slowly working your way up to boom you're you know you just got a ton of stuff that you can use now and makes it so much easier you know it it's it's like it, you you build up your uh stronghold is what it's called and uh the level of stronghold goes up to 21. well me i think i'm at 18 right now and I, i'm just you know really working my way up i haven't put any money into the game but the people that put money into the game you see them you know all of a sudden they're stronghold five boom they're stronghold 21 and they're working on a lot of stuff and whenever they put money into the game if you're in the guild with them it showers you with items as well so i try to get into a uh uh they call it alliances rather than guilds but i try to get into an alliance that people were buying stuff all the time because once they bought stuff it gave you stuff as well just for being in the alliance so yeah cashing in on that big time um and and it's allowing me to progress a lot faster than if i was in an alliance that nobody was spending money you wouldn't get any of the gifts uh if you're not spending money yourself you're pretty much going to be at a snail's pace of prog uh, progress it's going to be you know one stronghold level every you know other week kind of thing whereas there was a point where I went up three stronghold levels in three days. You know, the, the people in my alliance, they donated a bunch of resources to me so that I could, uh, I could have the supply to upgrade my stuff. And then it's like a timer system. So once you click upgrade, it'll say you got to wait, whatever, 24 hours in order to upgrade. And the higher the upgrade is, the longer you have to wait. Well, the thing that you get mostly with paying money to the game is what they call speed ups. So you could actually get a speed up that will reduce eight hours off of it and stuff like that. Almost kind of like how Rift had the temporal cores or whatever it was the what, that you could actually buy uh, items to reduce the, the time that it took to open up that item. So you would get a chest and that chest would say, you can't open it up for seven days well then all of a sudden rift was also selling in the store hey you can reduce it by one day or three days or something like that if you buy this item for credits which of course are usually bought with real money so yeah but uh game of war completely operates off of that um so i've been hooked on that and if you guys are thinking about getting on game of war I think I can put a referral link in the description below. So use that link. And uh, of course, referral links these days work both ways to where if you use the referral link, it helps me out and you get a bunch of items as well. So if it's something that you're interested in, use my referral link. Um, what else have I been doing? Oh man, tons and tons of time has been spent in this next game. Uh, my nephew came over one day and he goes, uh, uh, I asked him, uh, have you been playing Rift lately? He got to where he was playing Rift a little bit and he's about 12 years old. So he, he goes, nah, man, I, I haven't gotten to play. And I said, well, what have you been playing? Because my brother was playing Rift. Uh, well, he played a little bit, but not much, but, uh, he played, uh, other games as well with me. But, uh, so I try to get everybody in the games with me because if you get to play with friends and family, it makes the gameplay so much funner. And, you know, it's fun playing with people you don't know as well, but if you actually get like a good friend of yours on the game with you, it makes the experience so much better. So I always try to get my like family into it or else close friends and girlfriends, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, never works out. Nobody ever sticks with me. Uh, you know, I had a couple of friends get on Rift with me, but, you know, they lasted a, a month or something. 
and then they they were just like World of Warcraft addicts, and they, they just went back to that, even though all they did was complain about World of Warcraft, so... Um, but my nephew came over and he said that he was playing Wizard 101, which is uh, much like a Final Fantasy type of game where it's turn-based, but it's geared towards kids. As in, uh, you know, you're running around, you'll have this whole area that's full of bear people. And they're not looking ferocious or anything like a cool look. It's almost like cartoonish looking. Well... I said, all right, man, uh, let's go get on the computers and uh, I'll make a character too and I'll play with you. And he said, okay. So we, he was all excited. You know, all of a sudden I was going to play Wizard 101 with him. You know, uh, Uncle Daryl that, uh, you know, plays uh, Rift all the time and uh, makes YouTube videos and is pretty well known in Rift and uh try ons having me do videos and all this stuff you know he was like wow you know my uncle is going to be playing wizard 101 with me it was like the coolest thing ever so i was like okay let's do this you know this sounds like fun you know i i love the excitement that he has right now so i went and uh created a character and uh i started playing it a little bit and i, I told him that i would level up my character even after he left so uh, I was playing it a bit and, you know, having pretty good fun. You know, it, it brought back memories of Final Fantasy to me where it was turn-based. You know, basically you go up and you fight a monster and the monster's standing across from you. And then you select what spell or heal that you're going to do. And then, and then it selects its spell or heal and then, you know, you fight and all this stuff. And... Uh, it, it really made me think of Final Fantasy, and fi I love Final Fantasy. You know, I was a big console player, uh, but uh, I fell off of that because I got into multiplayer games, and then Final Fantasy kept going with the single player thing for a while, and then it came out with, like, its online versions, like, I think it was Final Fantasy twelve or something like that, and... Man, I, I just wasn't interested at that point. I was already playing uh, Dark Age of Camelot and Ultima Online and then Rift and, you know, all this stuff. And even dabbling into EVE Online and all these other games that whenever Final Fantasy went online, I was like, I don't want to do it. And, uh, but all of a sudden I was getting flashbacks uh, of Final Fantasy while playing this Wizard 101. Well, all of a sudden my girlfriend comes in, she sees it and she goes... Man, that, that, that looks pretty simple. That looks like something I could play. Because I've tried to get her into Rift, but Rift is too complicated for a non-gamer. You know, whenever you got a gamer getting into a game like this, they, they're they usually used to it. You know, they, they've they played Skyrim or World of Warcraft or something like that, and picking up Rift is really easy for them. Well, whenever you bring somebody that's used to playing Candy Crush or The Sims or something like that, you know, aka not really a gamer, they they struggle with a game like Rift because it's pretty complicated. The movement and all that stuff, and they're always messing up the camera where it's pointing straight down at them in the ground, and you know, just everything's chaos whenever you try to get a non gamer into these games. Well, she's seen Wizard 101, she goes, I would love to try that. So she grabbed her laptop and her laptop normally can't run any game at all and she loads up wizard 101 and wow it, it's working because it's pretty basic graphics and uh so she started playing so that got me playing with her and then i realized that the level gaps are not a big deal so even though i would leveled up like 10 levels ahead already i could easily play with her and no problem at all well, then all of a sudden she got her mom into it and her mom is playing. And then I got my nephew playing and all this. And uh, this goes back to where I was talking about whenever you get to play with friends or family, it makes the experience so much funner. And man, all of a sudden I was hooked. I was, I was playing this, uh, you know, kind of a children's game. And it reminded me of Final Fantasy and I was getting to play with all this friends and family. It was awesome. So uh man i've been playing the heck out of that game i think i'm like level 35 now uh 
and it's been a blast. You know, I, I can play it by myself or else I can play it with friends and family. It's, it's just a wonderful experience because I know the friends or family are going to be getting on later and I'm going to be able to play with them. So it's really, really cool. And if you guys think about playing Wizard 101, that is free to play. Uh, they do have it to where, um, uh, as you go along in the game, uh, there are zones that uh, you would want to go to, basically. But in order to go to them, you either have to be subscribed to the game, which they have sales on the subscriptions, like $7 a month, or it's normally like $10 a month without a sale. Um, so you can access everything while you're subscribed, or you can earn crowns in the game, which crowns are like credits in Rift where uh, you take these crowns and uh, you can unlock zones by spending uh, the, the crowns on it. And you can also get crowns from referring people that uh, are joining the game with you. So everybody I referred, uh, once they put like $5 down on the game or whatever, I got all these crowns and I was, you know, all ecstatic, you know, I was able to buy stuff without putting a dollar into the game. But I ended up subscribing anyway because all of a sudden they had this big deal of, uh, you know, like $50 for an entire year to play the game. And, uh, you know, my girlfriend had already bought that. Her mom had already bought that. My nephew's playing it. So it, it became something I was like, okay, I'm subscribing to it. So I, I've been subscribed to it and playing the heck out of it for an entire week. Um, but if you guys are thinking about playing it, referral link below so yeah make sure you use that because if you use my referral link of course you get stuff as well as me whenever you get into the game so yeah that's what i've been doing for the last week besides uh hanging out with family and going out and doing a bunch of stuff uh besides sitting in my computer chair um yeah i've been playing a lot of wizard 101 playing uh game of war like crazy on my phone and tablet and then uh yeah, just going out and having fun with everybody. Got to go out to the winery, which I love to go out to the wineries. I, I'm a big uh, wine connoisseur. I, I drink like uh, once every two weeks. I, I, I can drink beer, I can drink wine or whatever, but I really don't drink very often. Man, that guy's armor is pretty cool. Look at that. Man, who is that guy? Uh, Tarium from Gray School? cool armor dude thumbs up i don't even know what gear that is but uh i liked it but for those of you that have stuck through this video all this time and listened to me rant and rave and uh just talk about random stuff you are awesome and you know what let's go ahead and give away a primalist package uh what is it uh, 99 dollars at the top i think it is uh so yeah let's let's give that away if you guys would like to win that, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, if you use my referral links on any of those two games, then it'll bring you good luck. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, if you'd like to win the Wilds package, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below with your character name and server. And make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and hit that like button. Uh, because yeah, it helps out the channel so much whenever you guys hit the like buttons. Um, I'm not really, uh, I haven't looked at any donations. So, uh, if anybody have donated, uh, since the last time that we, uh, did donation readings, which I don't believe anybody has, I, I think the donations have pretty much dried up lately. But, uh, if we have had a donation, uh, the next Saturday video, we will resume that to where we're doing the normal giveaways and anybody that has donated, of course, it will spur giveaways for you guys. And also I hope to have a, uh, a new donation goal, uh, set up kind of like the drag video before. I'm so sorry for you guys that have been waiting on that all this time. But we're going to get it done. I promise we are going to get that drag video done and have a ball with it. Trust me. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm going to bring my friends over so they can all laugh and uh, point at me and all that good stuff. Um, but we're going to get that done. Then we're going to set a new donation goal. And I promise all that is happening Saturday. I don't know if the drag video is happening Saturday. It should. 
but uh, I will have a new donation goal and all that so uh, we're gonna put a new uh, new target up and also uh, what will happen once that donation goal is reached and uh, hopefully have a lot of fun with you guys so make sure that you're taking part in this wilds package giveaway uh, might might give another one away uh, shortly after we don't know maybe so uh, for those of you that have stuck through the video, make sure that you put your character name and server in the description, uh, in the comments section below, and we'll go ahead and give away one of these wilds packages. And never know, I might get the spur to give away two of them. Uh, for those of you that like listening to me talk so much, we might do it. All right, guys, uh, as usual, my name is Grim, and I hope you guys didn't miss me too much for the week I was off. All right, see you guys next time.